Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapcher. So in this video, we are going to see how we can build our own Google-like search engine on our own data with Vertex AI search. Okay, so this is one of the useful offering provided by Google Cloud AI services. So whether you are managing your website or your internal application or your knowledge base, if you have a bunch of document and finding the right document at the right time is always a difficult task. But this Vertex AI provide a powerful solution for creating custom search experience for our specific need with with its advanced capability we can build our own search engine on our own data so first let's see in two minutes what is vertex ai search so as you all aware vertex ai is one of the service in a google cloud so vertex ai search is again the functionality provided by vertex ai which brings the power of multiple ML technologies like deep information retrieval, natural language processing and latest LLM that is large language model processing and it provides these combined functionality to build our own Google like search engine app okay on our own data. So now without wasting much time on theoretical part I will go to the Google Cloud console and quickly see how we can build our own search engine on our own data so one more thing here so you don't need to worry about cost here because if you are building it for first time google provide one thousand dollar credit for building your vertex AI search or gen ai app so this is like huge amount and it is valid for one year so you can build your search app you can build your conversation app and you can try your hands-on with gen ai app builder okay so let me go to the cloud console and we'll show you how we can build our own search engine on our own data so let me go to the cloud console now now i am on my google cloud console so in search box just search vertex ai search okay and it will open search and conversation so open search and conversation and here if api is not enabled first it will ask you to enable api once you enable the api it will apply credit to your account so if you are creating for first time let me show you you will get 1000 credit for gen ai app builder and you can use this credit that is almost in indian rupees 83000 so let me show you the credits so these are more than enough and valid for one year so trial for gen app builder one time and this is valid for one year so you could see this is converted into indian rupees that is one thousand dollar and you can use this credit to build your vertex ai search engine okay so let me go back to vertex ai search and conversation okay so here we can build our own app okay so i already created some app earlier but i will try to create everything from the scratch so let me go to the new app okay and here the app we can create a three type first we can create a search engine that is search app second will be the chat app where we can work with chatbot and chatbot will answer our queries and third will be the recommendation it will create recommendation engine so first we'll work on the search app okay so we have to create a search engine for our own data so let me go to the search select okay and these are some like feature enterprise edition feature extract to answer answer the extracted verbation from your documents so even if you are searching a specific text so it will scan through all document and it will provide you all the document in which this text is present okay so suppose i am i have like 100 documents of uh, uh, kubernetes google cloud aws and i want to uh, look out for some specific kubectl command then it will fetch all the document and provide you all the relevant document where you will get a reference to this kubectl commands okay so this is kind of based on the nlp as well as llm model so advanced llm feature search summarization and search with follow -up. so i will enable this feature app name i will just give my search app okay company name i will just give my domain name take capture continue and here we have to create a data so create new data store so 
here are multiple options either you want to fetch data from website you want to fetch data from BigQuery table or you want to fetch data from cloud storage bucket or you want to manually call any API so I will show you two website URL and a cloud storage so I have my own website so I'll be able to show you that so I have my this own block okay so I have multiple blocks here in my blocks so I have my own projects here okay so let me reload this so I have this my own website so I can create search app for my website so it will search content from my website and display me the uh, result okay so I will select a website so sites to include so I have to give my domain so I'll just give my domain tech capture dot com okay and I want to include all pages as well so I will just add slash as well okay let me just continue URL pattern is invalid so let me just so this is correct pattern so data store name so my site my data site is data store name is my site so I have created it so the very interesting thing about Google is you don't need to worry much about any kind of coding when you are working or creating your own AI application so Google provide a lot of like drag and drop or just configuration kind of tools and platform AI platform so you can build your AI app very easily so now I will select my site data store and I will create so now it will create one search engine which will have search functionality for data related to my this domain okay so let me just preview it okay so currently this is standard one if you want to uh, go to the advanced level so let me go to data okay so currently this is just fetching the pages if you want to completely scroll website you want to upgrade here you have to verify your ownership like it will provide some kind of code and you have to paste it in your website so it will prove that okay you are owner of this website but with standard I can use without providing or without proving my ownership now I'll go to preview okay and I'll just try to search something so sometimes it may take some time to propagate but now I will just type I want to search project let me search okay error because it is taking some time let's wait for some time and then we can try again let's try to check now so I'll just uh, try to search GNAI yeah, okay and it is providing result from my website GNAI chatbot let me go and yeah it will take me to the website where I have GNAI chatbot let me check some other string let me check some other string so okay and it is providing me data engineer course as well now suppose I will try to find something like KMS key okay it is providing no result and that means there is no data which can help us with this KMS key data now what I will do suppose I have application and I need uh, my resources to work on Google documentation as well so what I can do I can feed the Google documentation data to this search engine what how we can do that just simply go and search for KMS key documentation okay so I will just find the documentation for KMS key okay so here are the KMS key docs I will simply go on any of this doc okay and I will pick this URL okay so I will copy this I will go back in data
okay I will specify website now you can just have to put in new line so cloud.google.com KMS I'll just put star dot and here also I'll put star now what will happen so any query from this document also will be answered so let me save it and show you so it will take couple of minutes here so let me go again in preview so earlier KMS was not answering let me check now KMS and it is providing all details from KMS so everything is from the the date link we provided the documentation we provided so in this way in this search engine suppose you have your own SharePoint if you have your own confluence pages you can feed that data and you can just search and it will provide you just direct link to that pages so this is your own search engine you created now this is kind of we are doing preview here so we can check mobile view also so how we can check mobile view for this I am checking search in suppose a blog so it will point block from my tech capture as well as from KMS blocks okay so it will find everything from that keyword so it is kind of like advanced search engine it created now suppose I want to add this search bar somewhere in my application somewhere in my website so here is option we can go to integration and from integration we have option here so we simply need to decide if it should be private if it is a private internal you have to provide authorization method if it is public website you can put public and you have to add your domain here so suppose my domain is techtapture.com okay I will add on my this domain I have to add this search widget now it will take some time so it won't immediately work but I will just show you we have to just copy this code and we have to add in our website to make it work so I already embedded it on my website let me show you not sure if it will provide data because it will take some time to propagate so here in search I can type like KMS okay and yeah it is working so you can embed this on your website as well simply you have to paste code on your website okay so that's how we can embed it in your website as well now you can also configure few things here from the configuration so here is option to enable feedback so user can send feedback like thumbs up or thumbs down enable safe search and enable autocomplete so currently this enable feedback is enabled that is why when we are checking the free view we can see the option to provide fit so suppose I am looking for blog so it is giving option to provide feedback like if the response is good or not okay so if I disable that feedback option it won't provide that feedback option in our search okay and I can search like here blog again and there is no feedback option so autocomplete I'm not tested it so let's check autocomplete not sure how it work but yeah we have some configuration features here so which we can enable and in advance also we have some features so these are mostly used for this integrating with our website or application so this is how we can create based on the website now we will create one more app which will work on like a document so suppose I have set of documents let me just uh, show a cloud storage bucket where I already stored multiple documents on multiple technical stack so let me go to the storage bucket so now we see one like based on the website it was providing the search data now let me show you one bucket okay I have this document bucket here I uploaded a multiple document okay so here I uploaded multiple documents so it is having documents of Linux machine learning AWS Google Cloud Ansible multiple documents it is having now I want to build app or search engine to retrieve information from this doc or retrieve information about this doc okay based on the certain string it will find a document so let me create new app now 
I will create select uh, search engine only I will give like doc search so it will be helpful if you are having like thousands of documents for your application and if you ran into an issue and you need to search for document then this is difficult instead we can use this search engine and that is only for our own data or own application related document so create data store I will create new data store which will be based on cloud storage and I will just provide path of this document folder this is unstructured data I don't know uh, if this is kind of structured or JSON so this is not JSON only it is kind of like PDF HTML text based data so I will just continue data store name is doc data I will just put the data name as a doc data so these are very easy steps and all algorithm and uh, tuning of this foundational model is taken care by Google itself so you just need to configure your app and that's the beautiful things about Google AI platform you don't need too much didn't worry about much coding here so it will take some time to fetch all the documents so currently zero documents fetched and we'll see progress after some time now you can see in document it fetched all the documents whatever there in the storage bucket so let's go to the preview and try to search anything or any text so that it can provide relevant document now I need uh, to find document related to Unix from our document so I'll just find Unix okay so it will take a couple of minutes as it is just created because it is saying data store is not found it means it is not yet ready so we'll wait for some time and then we'll search again now let's search again so I'll just search the same string again Unix and it should provide relevant documents not yet loading let me just load again so let me search Unix yeah and now it is some experimental AI responses also it is providing and it provided all the document from our document stack so so it is having like Linux node if I click on this it will take me to the document Linux nodes for dev apps again it will take me to the document I will find something like kubectl so it should look something inside document as well okay my spelling mistake okay and I just tried to search on a kubectl command and provided me document related to a kubernetes okay so there is one document which is having reference to kubectl command again there is document on DevOps roadmap and it is also having reference to the kubectl command and it is also mentioning on which page number we are having this kubectl command I think the page 9 so let me try to check on page 9 yes so it is finding on page 9 this kubectl so it is working we find on kind of like text bit inside the document as well and in this way we can create our own search engine on our unstructured data as well on a, a, earlier we created search engine on our website and now we created search engine for our own document so here is again the mobile view how we, it look like and we can also integrate in the same way like we discussed earlier so this is how we can create our own Google like search engine for our own data 
using the vertex AI. So just try to implement it in your cloud console and let me know if you stuck somewhere. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in further videos.